Good morning, students. In the previous video, we see rational numbers. So we again revise these rational numbers. What is meant by rational numbers? The number which are the terminating and non-terminating recurring form of number is called as rational numbers. Another definition of rational number is the number which is formed in the p by q. In this, p and q are the any integers and q is not equal to 0, that a number is called as rational numbers. In this video, we see irrational numbers. Irrational numbers means what? The numbers which are non-terminating and non-recurring. Non-recurring means non-repeating form of number is called as irrational numbers. For example, 1.325712 and so on. I take this example for understanding. In this example, these digits are not strong. That means non-terminating number and also this uh, sequence of digits are not repeat again and again means non-recurring. So, this number is called as irrational numbers. Next type of irrational numbers are root 2, root 3, root 5, root 7 and so on. Means a number which is not perfect square of any integer. That number is called as irrational numbers. The value of root 2 is something 1.412 and so on. We see in the next standard, but now we don't know. So, this uh, root 2 is called as irrational numbers. Means its value is the non terminating and non recurring also. So, we call this uh, all the not perfect square is called as irrational numbers. One thing is remember, pi is not a rational number. It is not a rational number. So, it is called as irrational number. We use the pi value is 22 by 7 or 3.14 and go on, so on. So, it is called as irrational numbers. Our next type is real numbers. The definition of real numbers means the numbers which can be plotted on a number line. Any number we can be plotted on a number line, that number is called as real numbers. Another definition is together of uh, irrational numbers and rational numbers is called as real numbers. Means all the rational numbers and all the irrational numbers are called as real numbers. For example, 1 by 2, we can show the uh, on the number line, so it is a real number. 3.5, it can be shown on the number line, so it is a real number. Minus 2 by 7, we can also show on the number line, so it is a real number. Root 2, we can show on the number line, it is a irrational number, so it is also a real number, etc. These are all the examples of real numbers. Now we see how to show root 2 on a number line. First, we draw a number line. Then give the name of center O. And the number 1 point we call as A. After that, we draw perpendicular from point A. This line called as line L. Per line L perpendicular to the OE. After that, you take a point on this perpendicular point P such that OA same as to AP. This is the 1 centimeter. So, from 1 centimeter, you take this point P. After that, you join OP by using scale. Then we get right angle triangle. Triangle OAP. OAP is right angle triangle. And we know the right angle triangle. We can apply the Pythagoras theorem to the right angle triangle. So, first we find out the length of OP by 
Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem. Hypotenuse square is equal to side one square plus side two square. Hypotenuse is the in front of ninety degree angle. OP is our hypotenuse. So OP square equal to side one square and side two means base and this is the perpendicular height. One centimeter. OA square plus AP square. One centimeter square plus one centimeter square. One square is one. Again one square is one. One plus one two. Means we get OP square is equal to two. But we want OP. Taking square root of both sides. Taking square root. OP is equal to root two. Means we get this length of OP is root two. On point P, that point we get root two. But root two we want to show on the number line. So first we take this point on our number line. You consider OP is called a radius, and then you take a chart. Distance take a distance in the chart OP, and make one circle. You draw an arc on the left side, same distance, means same take a radius. Then you get a negative point. Means we get this point on the number line. This is our root two, and this is our minus root two. In this way, we show the root two number on the number line. Now we see how to show root three on a number line. In the previous example, we already seen the how to show the root two on a number line. Then we get the root two on the number line. With the help of this, we show root three on a number line. So first, you draw the perpendicular line on the point root two. We call here Q by using D or scale. After that, you take one centimeter distance on this perpendicular line. Same as to first point P. You call here R, and then you join OR by using scale. This OR. Is our point root three? This is root two, and this is root three. How it is? If we can solve this, we get triangle OQR. OQR is right angled triangle. Therefore, by Pythagoras theorem. Hypotenuse square OR square equal to o, OQ square side one square plus side two square QR square. And we know the distance OQ root two square plus OR QR distance is one centimeter. Square root and square are answer. Then it is two plus one. So O R square equal to two plus one three. Therefore, taking square root of both sides, O O R equal to root three. Then we get this O R is equal to root three. Now we want again this point on the number line. So take this like the radius and take a chart. Take distance in the chart, O R, and make one arc. It is not necessary to complete the square or circle. You can make arc also. 
This point is your root 3. In this way, we can show the root 3 on the number line. Now we see second example, how to show root 5 on a number line. So first you draw a number line, take a center O. On the unit 2, you call this point is P. So first we draw the perpendicular on the point 2 because we want to show the root 5. Draw a perpendicular line and take 1 cm as like you take a distance. We call it as Q. Then join OQ. Now first we find out the length of OQ. We know that this line L is the perpendicular on OP. So here is 90 degree angle. So we get OPQ is a right angled angle. OPQ is right angle. Angle, triangle. Therefore, by Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square OQ square equal to OP square plus PQ square. We know we take OP is two units, so two square plus PQ is one centimeter, so one square. Two square is 2 is 4 plus 1 square is 1 and therefore we get OQ square equal to 5. Taking square root. Square root of both sides. Then we get OQ equal to root 5. Now we know the length of OQ is root 5 and point is uh, from the O to the root 5. But we want this point on the number line. So again, take this as a radius in the chalk and make one arc from the center on a number line. You put your sharp point on the center and take a distance OQ and make one arc. This point is our root. In this way, we show root 5 on the number line. Now, we see example number 3. How to show root 7 on a number line? In the previous example, we show the root 5 on a number line. With the help of this, we show the root 7 on the number line. For this purpose, first we want to show the root 6 on a number line. So, again, take this point and on this, make a perpendicular line. On the root 5, take 1 cm distance, same like as this is O, this is A, O A P. Same as A P, we call here B, Q. Again you join O Q by using scale. And we know this OQ point is the root 6. By using this right angle triangle, by using Pythagoras theorem, we can show the OQ is root 6. Again, we want this Q point means root 6 on the number line. So take a chalk. In the chalk, you take distance OQ and make one arc on the number line. This is our root 6. Now, we want to show root 7. So, first again, draw the perpendicular on a root 6. Perpendicular line on a point root 6. Take again 1 cm distance as like BQ. These all distance are same. AP, BQ and CR. Again join OR by using scale and this is our root 7.
We can show that the algebra theorem. We call it as C. When we draw the perpendicular, we get the right angle triangle OC R is right angle triangle by Pythagoras theorem. OR is the hypotenuse. OR square is equal to this is the OC square plus one side square plus another side square CR square we take OC root 6 this distance is root 6 square plus 1 centimeter CR is the 1 centimeter so 1 centimeter square OR square is equal to square root and square are cancel so 6 plus 1 OR square is equal to 7 taking square root of both sides therefore OR square and square root cancel therefore OR is equal to root 7 this is the root 7 so but we want this point R on the number line we take a job a distance in the job OR and make one arc on the number line this point is root 7 in this way we show the root 7 on a number line